One thing would be handbooks, and there's a lot of leftover handbooks at the end of the year, and then taking those handbooks and not buying the next year. And the same thing with papers, kind of looking at what we use and what we, you know, I mean, like the U.S. Post that we get, and then, you know, those kind of papers and looking at what's left over at the end of the day, and not buying those newspapers again, and, you know, not buying as many. And the handbooks also, like a lot of students, we want to make that content available online. And then, for the most part, a lot of students, this year there's a lot more left over than there has been. A lot of students are finding, you know, finding the resources online, those kind of things. So we believe that, like, if we don't hand out them to everybody, but make them available someplace where people can go get them and let them know that they're available, but don't necessarily give them out to people who are just going to throw them away or not use them. We just want to approach everything with a more economical mindset. Uh, two things. Last year I was the president of Newsom Hall Council, and to try and win Recycle Mania, I came to the LSC with trash bags and filled them with phone books and took them back to my dorm and put them in my recycle bin. Does anyone think that's ridiculous? I do. I, yeah, is that ethical? I was just like, what? <laughs> is that ethical? <laughs> Not at all. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's, that's exactly my point. Like, like, someone was refilling freaking phone books every day. Enough that I was carrying like 40 or 50 pounds a night. <laughs> like, those are things that we can look at, honestly, and say, why the heck are we buying phone books over and over again if 60 of them are getting taken every night? It's just looking at things and paying attention. Um, not many people pay attention to the new blue recycle bins out there, but does anyone know what's been paid to be printed on them? Yeah. T and Q09. We paid our money for that ink for their names. That is outrageous. And if you don't think so, if that doesn't piss you off, then either you know, you've got water in your pants or there's something significantly wrong with your psyche. I mean, there, there are issues right here that are not hard to fix. There's a lot of money that can be saved by saying we don't have to recycle if we don't buy the paper in the first place, if we look at where it's going. And it's very basic. It's not saying that, we're not saying that, you know, we're all about reducing all of our environmental issues. No, we're saying that they're not environmental issues if we don't buy the things in the first place. And, and I, I guess kind of also, we, we, we don't want to, t traditionally the budget for ASSU is left over at the end of the year and they have a lot of budget left over and they end up just wasting it because they have to spend it and they feel like they should use it for the students that year. Which, I mean, I, I kind of agree with the students that pay for that year should, should see the benefits of it. The problem is if, that you really should budget in the first place to spend less and then look for better deals. You know, because at the end of the year, they're just looking to waste that money and they don't necessarily look for the best deal or anything. They're just trying to use the money. Well, so see, we uh, really should be budgeting for less in the beginning and then planning to look for the best deals. And, you know, it, it's pretty simple. I mean, you know, like our website. Our website is entirely free. I mean, it's a $15 charge for compared to some of the others, but it's still $15. And if you look at those kind of individually, those kind of things like that, I mean, we save $15 on a campaign just by having a free website. And that's, that's very simple things that we can do, you know, just to affect that change for costs and stuff for students. Or not passing out flyers at the beginning of the week. We didn't have flyers all last week because, I mean, and, who would have kept them? Well, and, and, and the other thing is we don't believe in, you know, just throwing flyers out there to people who are just going to throw them away. We talk to the people, let them know what we're about, and then give them a flyer for something to look at later. That's so less than 200 flyers. So it's, it's not something like, you know, you take this flyer and you're going to go look at it maybe a little bit and throw it away or something, and then it's just going to be waste. But it's printing less flyers and giving them people that are actually going to keep them and are actually going to use them.